today I'm reviewing a book called Fated by Sarah Alderson. Um, I read Hunting Lila by Sarah Alderson um, a while back. Um, I read the series, there's three books, and I loved it. I loved it. And, um, and I loved the book so much and the characters in it that I thought I would give Fated a go. Um, I don't know how many books the Fated series is. I think there is, well there's definitely another one. Um, but I'm not sure if there's a third after this one. So, Fated. What happens if the person you love is the one that must betray you? When I read that I thought it was going to be some sort of lovey-dovey kind of book. But actually, when you read it, you realise it's not. Um, if you can't choose who you love, how do you know who to trust? Again, I thought it was some lovey-dovey book and I don't really like that. Um, but yes, it wasn't. Lucas Grey is a half-shadow warrior. Okay. Half human and a member of the Brotherhood, a group of assassins tasked with, kill tasked with killing the last purebred hunter on Earth before she can fulfil the dangerous, dangerous prophecy. That hunter's name is Evie Tremaine. Not lovey dovey. Evie is a 16 year old, a waitress, and has just discovered she is the last of the long line of demon slayers and an unwilling participant in the war between hunters and unhumans that has raged for the last thousand years. When your fate is already determined, can you fight it? <gasps> it was good. I like this book. Um, I think it had a bit of a slow start, um, but then it started to pick up as it went on. Um, it starts off with Lucas Gray. Um, He's part of this brotherhood that are unhumans, and you don't just get like um, shadow warriors, you get vampires, you get um, this girl, and if you touch her, um, she'll burn your hand, um, it's sort of like a slime thing. Um, yeah, you can get loads of loads of different types of unhumans, different types, there's um, different realms, and something has allowed them to come through to the human realm a long, long time ago. And um, there are um, hunters, which is what Evie is, and uh, a bit like Buffy the Vampire Slayer where they hunt the vampires, but um, the hunters actually hunt all the unhumans. So it starts off with Lucas Grey and the Brotherhood, and they have this prophecy that, um, well, we don't know the prophecy, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, because um, I'm going to spoil it, but Evie is part of this prophecy and they believe that she is going to do something which is going to basically destroy the unhumans. Although there is more to it, she's basically going to do that. And uh, that's basically what the blurb says, so I haven't actually spoiled anything for you. So it starts off with Lucas and some of the unhumans and there's his mentor. And a long, long time ago, the hunters have actually wiped out quite a lot of the unhumans. So the sort of like the originals like the big group of guys basically tell Lucas's superior what to do so they've decided to get some um, unhumans from the different realms to create like this brotherhood um, they've decided to get together and destroy these hunters so Evie is now um, 17 um, which is the age when like her true hunterness comes out she doesn't know any of this okay she's been she's adopted so um so spoiler she's adopted um and her parents died when she was a baby um and she has been raised by this lady and her husband and she's you know grown up with that and she loves them and recently her dad has died and you know she's very heartbroken and she's upset and you know all through her life she's felt like she doesn't fit in in this town it's not completely backwards but it's um, a very small close community and uh, there's a lot of whispering about things it's a little bit like that and she's not like that so she has at the moment uh, two jobs and she still goes to school it's uh, the holidays at the moment so she's just work 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 and she's trying to raise as much money as she can to basically get out of the town so she works at a diner um, she works at her family store and then all of a sudden this guy appears in the diner and um, his name is Victor and he offers her a job in his boutique. So he wants to create this um, fashionable boutique where they sell Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Chanel and any other designer brand, you name it. He wants to sell it in his shop. 
and he's offering her I think it was like $30 an hour so she's like well okay if you're sure then hey I'll do that because she'll make more doing that than she would in a shift at the diner so she thinks easy cash I'll work in his shop get a bit of cash and I'll be out of this town as quick as I can she has just broken up with her boyfriend and there was a car accident with her best friend and her boyfriend now she was with this guy for quite a long time and um, he basically slept with her best friend and they broke up and she was very upset and in the car they were together and it crashed and her best friend died so she blames him for the crash it wasn't his fault um, so it was someone else but I won't tell you who because it will spoil the whole thing Evie finishes her shift at the diner and uh, she heads outside to put the rubbish in the bins like she would do after every shift and all of a sudden there's this guy and this girl and she can hear people talking and she doesn't know what's happening but she's scared like all these people are gonna like gang up on her so they start attacking her and she defends herself um, I can't remember what she did but um, her dad taught her kickboxing or something, some martial arts or boxing or something. So she can defend herself basically. She's pretty strong like that. And she basically beats the hell out of these people. So all these unhumans have been sent out to kill Evie, which is why they turned up outside the diner. They've been watching her and they turn up. And Evie, who doesn't know she's a hunter yet, has basically kicked these guys' asses and um, destroyed them, not knowing she's a hunter. So they're thinking hang on a minute she doesn't know she's a hunter and she's basically beating us up what are we going to do and she is actually training to be a hunter so they're like we have to stop her from becoming this hunter because she's going to fulfill this prophecy and actually be pretty good so lucas decides to speak to his superior and decides to go undercover to get to know evie and find out more about the hunters because he's got this motive because one of the hunters killed his dad and um, his mum and he wants to know who who did it so his dad was a shadow girl and his mum was a human and um, they obviously created him so he's a half and half and uh, yeah he decides to go to this town and um, her lodger her mum's lodger Evie's mum's lodger has gone to visit her mum and um, now there's a space in the house and she can't afford the house so Lucas pops up he's like I've got some cash I need somewhere to stay and he stays with them now in this town once Evie finds out that she is a shadow hunter by Victor and obviously not believe in them and then realise that actually okay I'll go with the flow and I believe you they have been protecting her for her life there are four of them there's Victor there's um, her one of the ladies that lives in the town who wears the long skirt and you wouldn't believe that she was there there's a younger girl and a guy and they're all there to teach Evie how to become a hunter so um, you find out that Lucas is actually trying to save Evie's life because he doesn't want to kill her the person that he actually hates is blank I'm not going to tell you I don't want to spoil it this is not even a spoiler because I don't want you to know everything though it's very really hard so she um, he wants to kill this particular hunter that has killed his family and she doesn't know this so she doesn't even know that Lucas is a shadow warrior so basically in this town it's been protected so no um, unhumans can come into the um, the town that it's been protected however because he's a shadow warrior it means that he can disappear into the shadows and no one can see he's there so it's a lot harder for the hunters to um, figure out that he's there. Whereas if a vampire walks straight in, they could sniff them out straight away and boom, they found them. So, in actual fact, Victor has realised that Lucas is a shadow warrior. But obviously Evie hasn't. So Evie just seems to think that Lucas is this random guy who's just in this town away from wherever he's come from and just, you know, working with the stables and the horses and whatever. So anyway, as the story progresses, Evie learns how to become this hunter and obviously Lucas is trying to pretend that he's not actually a shadow warrior. 
and then there's the whole boyfriend thing in the story there's her mum in the story and then there's her finding out who she actually is although she knows she's a hunter now she's trying to find out about who actually killed her parents and why and the best part of this book actually is the twist with who killed her parents and what's going to happen now because like i said lucas doesn't want to kill evie she doesn't know she's even being hunted or why she's being hunted um but in the end lucas and evie do protect each other that's a spoiler um they they do protect each other um the next book is about evie and lucas going off together to try and stop this prophecy without killing each other um i did like this book it was written really well um sarah alderson wrote hunting liner very well and i do think she wrote it well in this but i don't think i'm going to read the next one um if you want me to read it i'll read it for you and i'll give you a review on it but i, I didn't really like the book to be honest and um, the story was good but it was a very very slow start and it didn't make me want to read the next one it was sort of like a it could just carry on without another one um you could just imagine what could happen and bam it's done whereas some books you don't want it to end so you want there to be another one and another one and another one like this i i don't think i'll read the next one it was a good book it was written well i give it to read it again it would be like a two maybe three stars but please don't let this spoil your um opinion on it if you liked it then good you know read the next one let me know what you think um if you've read this book if you liked it let me know please let me know if you've read the next one and you know you enjoyed that one please let me know because i want to know what you think because if you think it was really good then of course i'll give it another go and i'll read the next one but if you're not sure i still recommend at least buying a sample on the kindle or going into a library or even a bookshop and just looking for it and see if you like it but yeah i don't let me cloud your judgment give it a go yourself um, so yes, the only question I have for you, apart from if you've read it, let me know if you, you know, if you read the next one and you liked it, would you be the hunter or would you be a shadow warrior? So like I said, a shadow warrior can go into the shadows and disappear and um, obviously you're, you know, badass because you can do that, you can vanish, no one can know you're there, you can see what other people are doing but they can't see you. Or would you be a hunter that has these extra speed um adrenaline your strength you're strong uh, what would you be a shadow hunter or would you be an unhuman shadow warrior i will see you next time and um hopefully i will be reviewing a book that i loved see you soon bye, -bye. <laughs>